I think we have to recognize that a leader in the 21st century has to be far more cognizant and conscious of the science of what is happening on our planet in terms of ecosystem stability, in terms of resource availability, in terms of the pollution footprint, um, whether it is the ozone layer, whether it is climate change, whether it is air quality. You have to have a vision and then you have to have a way to affect solutions. And that's what a leader does, is uh, solve problems. This is a big problem and we've got to solve it. We need um, leaders um, who um, look at a, a overall a agenda for business, who look at an agenda that is um, medium to long term. Um, we need leaders um, who are um, you know, leaders with a conscience. Short-sighted vision continues to be, I would say, the most important obstacle of today's leadership. Uh, we don't see or have enough leaders of today that are looking into the next hundred years. Um, and we, you, you do need to look far away um, if you want to re make real changes. I think what we've all got to do is look in peripheral vision for some of the people who are coming at this in very, very different uh, ways. They're out there uh, and we've got to sort of identify them, uh, celebrate them to some degree, but support them as fast as we possibly can and bridge them back into the mainstream uh, system. I think you really need an ability to sit down and talk to people and say, and, you know, if you think, if, if someone is banging on about something, we'll sit down and talk to them and listen. And if you think they're wrong, explain why. And then, but, but very often you, you learn something. Right now, the leadership is not coming from national capitals. It certainly is not coming from, from Washington. But what we see is it's welling up from the grassroots and the, the effort to coal-fired power plants, the effort to close coal-fired power plants has nothing to do with Washington. I mean, Washington's not involved at all. It's, it's what's happening across the country that's important here. Leaders, particularly political leaders, need to take their responsibility to build consensus and cohesion in societies more serious. Unfortunately, our democratic model of you know, elections every four years or two years puts a premium on differences, on trying to outmaneuver uh, other parts of the political spectrum. The public also has to ensure that the leaders that they elect and the leaders who function on their behalf are not only looking at the immediate short term, but they're also taking decisions which are, at least to a large extent, visionary. And if you look at history throughout uh, the progress of human society. What has really worked best in the interests of society has been leadership which is visionary, which looks beyond the immediate.